Chapter 10, Mishnah 5. The first Mishnah of this chapter taught that if a man marries two wives and then dies, the wife he married first could collect her entire kasuba from his property before the second wife could collect anything. Our Mishnah elaborates upon this law. If someone was married to four wives and he died, the first wife, that is, the one whose kasuba is dated first, comes before the second wife and collects her entire kasuba because her husband's property was pledged to her first. And the second wife comes before the third wife, and the third wife comes before the fourth wife. However, before the first wife could take anything, she must swear to the second wife that she was not already paid. Since there might be nothing left for the second wife after the first one collects, the second wife can make the first one swear that her claim is valid. And before the second wife could take anything, she must swear to the third wife, for the same reason. And before the third wife can take anything, she must swear to the fourth wife. However, the fourth wife is paid without making an oath, because nobody is affected when she collects her kasuba. Atana disagrees. Ben Nana said, should the fourth wife gain by not having to swear just because she is last? Her claim would affect the other wives in the following case. If it was discovered that a property taken by one of the first three wives had been stolen by the husband, that wife would have to give the property back to its original owner. She would then come to claim her kasuba again. But after the fourth wife has collected her kasuba, there might not be enough property left for her. Therefore, in this case, even the fourth wife is not paid unless she makes an oath. Another law about how to decide which wife collects her kasuba first. If the kasubas are produced in court and all of them were written on the same day but at different hours of the day, whoever comes, i.e. her kasuba was written before the other, even by only one hour, has the right to collect her kasuba first. And in fact, in Jerusalem, they would write in their documents the hours in which they were written. But if the kasubas are produced in court and all of them were written even in the same hour, and there was only a hundred zoos in the husband's estate, which is not enough to pay all of them, they divide the property equally.